Have you ever experienced situations where an operating system update goes out to all your devices and you have no control over it? Affecting your fleet, which can result in the loss of productivity. Hi, I'm Ryan from Sodi, and today I'm going to show you how to solve this problem. I'll showcase to you Samsung Enterprise Firmware over the air, known as eFOTA, and the many offerings it can provide you from an OS update perspective. eFOTA is an enterprise solution that controls OS versions on Samsung mobile devices to maximize cost efficiency and keep up with all security matters. The eFOTA solution allows businesses to remotely control operating system updates by enforcing version updates only confirmed by the IT department via mobile control, making sure your devices are up to date and avoiding downtime with compatibility issues. Enterprise mobility is business critical more than ever before, and eFOTA addresses this. Today, you will see that using Samsung eFOTA, we can control security updates, set timeframes, make deployments in chunks, and ensure application testing has been completed before the operating system has been rolled out. Let's dive right into it. As we can see in Mobi Control, I have created an eFOTA folder that houses the Samsung device enrolled into a Mobi Control. For the sake of this demonstration, I have already taken the liberty of enrolling these devices into the eFOTA program, as we can see in the second column under the heading eFOTA Enrollment. Now, let's go over how to enroll devices into eFOTA. There are two options. To select devices to enroll into the program, you can select the devices at a folder level or use the advanced search option to select a manufacturer of the device. You can also deselect devices you do not wish to enroll into the program. Navigating to the bottom right-hand panel of Mobi Control, we would click the More button and search for Enroll in eFOTA. Once we click on Enroll in eFOTA, a device action menu will pop up with the license name and group ID as drop-down options. Looking into this panel, let's go over what license name and group ID are. License name is the specific name you can append to your licenses you have acquired from Samsung. The name can be unique to your business, or in some cases, if your company owns many different businesses, you can create multiple license names to manage their appended costs. In the dropdown, we can see the name Sodi and the number 6 beside it in brackets. That number represents how many licenses are remaining for the license name. In total, I have 10 and have appended 4 of them to other devices. Group ID is the section in which we can take a subset of licenses from the license name and append them to a business unit, a project, or even an event, for example. In this case, we can see sales instance. We could add things like technical support or HR, for example. This breakdown helps companies identify how to manage costs across multiple points and give them the flexibility to push those costs to the correct business units accurately. Looking at the bottom left hand of the pop-up window, we can see a warning symbol with some text. Because I have enrolled all four devices, this action cannot take place. If we click the plus option, an additional drop-down menu will appear displaying the following. Two devices are already enrolled in the selected group, and two devices enrollment in eFOTA in progress. There are many other options such as OS not supported or device type not supported. These prompts are here to assist the administrator with identifying what could be the potential root cause of why a device cannot enroll into the program. If the devices have not been enrolled for the first time, regardless of the additional prompt, only devices that meet the correct criteria to enroll will begin the process and no additional licenses will be consumed by continuing. Let's work through a use case where you as the administrator wishes to perform a staggered rollout of OS updates across your Samsung fleet. How would you do this? Select the devices you want to perform an OS upgrade against. At the bottom right hand side, click the More Options icon and search for Upgrade Firmware. Click Upgrade Firmware and a pop-up will appear. Starting from left to right, we see a total of 7 different fields to read from. First is the Device Model field listing out all of the different Samsung product types within your fleet. Secondly is Carrier, which provides the mobile provider that a type of device is appended to. License name, which is where the licenses are coming from. Group ID, indicating which group a device belongs to. Current firmware version, then followed by the target firmware version where a drop-down is provided to choose a firmware or security update of your choice. 
and then scheduling section where you can specify a date and a time frame of deployment. So we have a few variable options here. We can keep devices up to date with the latest version for that model or carrier type, or we can specify and refer to a minor upgrade. Minor upgrade options can assist a company with the application testing and validation that an OS upgrade does not affect the functionality of their app. As we can see here, there is a small staged upgrade within Android Nougat. Either option is available and will update target firmware versions as new releases come out. We can also schedule a specified date and time for those upgrades to begin. If those times are exceeded, the upgrade will not happen until the next selected schedule. We can also see in the top right hand side of the pop-up, the scheduled date and time range is based on your computer's local time but will be applied in GMT. We also place important notices at the bottom. So let's play around with this, shall we? Let's say later on in the month of November, we would go through a retail change management freeze. We would want to avoid the month of November to January. By clicking the calendar button, we would move to a day, say the 14th of January, but we can see here that Mobile Control does not allow for a single day for the OS upgrade, but rather requires a time frame to upgrade the operating systems. This helps manage and scale out your deployment in situations where devices may not be able to connect to the server to capture the upgrade. We also specify a time frame for that OS upgrade to execute. We recommend targeting devices and time frames in which the majority of users are not actively using the devices, reducing downtime at work. After we schedule the time and date frames, we can see that this will only affect the devices with this specific model and this specific carrier, BTU. The reason is that because of the different models and carriers, we provide our customers the flexibility to specify unique devices in their fleet instead of forcing it to all Samsung device types or carrier types. Once both roles have been updated with the information, the upgrade firmware button will light up. So what did we learn today? We learned how to enroll devices into eFOTA, how to schedule a firmware upgrade, how to identify incompatible devices, and how to choose a specific firmware upgrade. Samsung eFOTA, powered by Sony Mobi Control, has been created to give you back full control of your OS firmware upgrades for your Samsung devices. Talk to Sony today to learn how your organization can take control to properly manage all OS upgrades. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you next time.